To successfully collaborate with other people, we need to share information. But how can we make sure that information doesn't end up in the wrong hands, especially when it concerns confidential information? Well, Microsoft has a tool for this, which is Microsoft Purview, which has everything to do with data governance. Now, and within this tool, there is the Microsoft Compliance Center, where we can set up sensitivity labels. Now, these sensitivity labels can be applied to different pieces of content. For example, a PDF or an Excel file or a Power BI file. And for each sensitivity label, the organization or company can set up which restrictions apply. For example, if something is labeled highly confidential, maybe it is not allowed to share that document externally. Or maybe you cannot download it at all. Or you need to be logged in to be able to see it. So in short, sensitivity labels just help companies and organizations to make sure information and data doesn't end up in the wrong hands. And they can also be used within Power BI. So let's have a look. Now here we are in Power BI service and I'm gonna go to the demo workspace over here. And you might have noticed that there's one column, sensitivity, where we have all different kinds of labels, like highly confidential, confidential, general. Now these labels you find over here, but also when we go to a report. So let me open here the financial overview report, which is confidential. And you see here all the way at the top, there we have a label applied, confidential. And when I click on it over here, you see sensitivity, confidential. When I hover over it, it also gives you a short description. And here we can also change the sensitivity label. Now, to change it, well, we need to have the rights to be able to change the sensitivity label. And it might also be necessary to say why you want to change it, depending on how that sensitivity label policy is set up. Okay, now, it might be that your organization doesn't use sensitivity labels. It is something that needs to be turned on, not only in Microsoft Purview, in the compliance center where you can set it up, but also within Power BI. The administrator would need to go to the admin portal and then here under information protection, there we have the toggle button to turn on sensitivity labels, all right? And also here we can say whether it should apply to the entire organization, only specific groups. And from here, we can also go to that Microsoft Purview Compliance Center, where of course we first need to log in. Now here we are in that Compliance Center from Microsoft Purview. And if I go here on the left hand side, there we have information protection. And here we find labels. Now, let me go there. And here we have our sensitivity labels. And you see these labels are the same as what you just saw before in Power BI Service. Now, how these labels are called and what restrictions apply, well, that is something that your organization controls. Now, let's have a look at one of them, or maybe let's create one from scratch. I'm gonna go over here and say, I want to create a new label. Then we can give it a name, for example, private, display name. Now, I'm going to use that same name. The first one is just for the administrators. The second one is the one that you will see later on when we apply the sensitivity labels. Now, a description, this is for internal use only. And then we can also give a description for the administrators and we can use a color. Now, for example, yellow. Now, then I can click here on next, define the scope for this label, which items we want to use the sensitivity label for. Now, I leave everything checked for now. And here the important part, whether we want to implement encryption. And usually for the confidential and highly confidential stuff, we do need this. Otherwise, it's just a label that informs the user how to treat that piece of content. But here with encryption, we can really restrict what the user can do with that data. All right, now I'm gonna go here to the next options. Now here we have to set up that encryption. Now here, I want to assign a permission straight away. I don't want the users to choose this, all right? I want to over here say that, well, maybe that the content needs to expire after a certain amount of time, for example, on a specific date and allow offline access. Well, if I go over here, then I can say that somebody should always be logged in when they want to see that content, okay. And then over here, we can assign the permissions to certain groups, for example, all users in the organization or maybe only specific people, right? So I can say that I'm the only one that should be able 
to do anything with that content when this sensitivity label is applied. All right, I'm going to click here on save. And then over here, we go to the next page. We can also use auto labeling so that labels are automatically being applied to certain files and emails. All right, now let's skip over this for now and just click on next, next, next. And this is then a final label. Now, also something that you can do from here is to set up watermarks huh, so that the watermark gets applied to the content. And once this is done, you just create, click on create label. Now, that label is not straight away visible. It needs to be added to a policy. Now, here you see it can do this automatically for you, or you can also do it manually later on, which is the option that I'm going to go for right now. And then we go over here to the left hand side, label policies. Now, here you see I have one policy set up. And let's have a closer look there. And I can edit that policy. And here you see all of our labels, public, confidential, highly confidential, and general, but not the one that I've just created. So what we could do is click here on edit and then also include a new one and click here on add. Now, then we can just click here on next, next, next. And then here you see all of the users to which that policy will be applied. All right. And you see, we have a lot of customization control over how these labels can be used. Also here for Power BI content, we could, for example, set up a default label to confidential and only if something is public that somebody can change it later on to public. All right. So this can all be set up. Now, in this case, I'm just going to skip forward till the end and submit it. OK, so the policy has been updated. Nice. Now, that means if we would go back now to Power BI and I go here to the workspace demo, that we should be able to apply that new sensitivity label. Now, let's have a look. For example, here we have HR report solution. Now, there's no sensitivity label applied just yet. So let's go here, click on the three dots, settings. And then here, they scroll down a bit. And you see we have sensitivity labels. Now, here we can choose one of the sensitivity labels that have been set up within that policy. Now, the one that I'm hoping for to see is private. Now, why don't we see private here? Didn't we just add that label to this new policy? Well, it should pop up, but it just takes a little bit of time before the changes take effect. So it can take up to a day and therefore it doesn't show up just yet. All right. Now over here, I'm going to therefore choose one of the other ones. For example, let's go here for confidential and click here on apply. And you also have the option to show the impacted content um, by that sensitivity label. All right, now, for now, not so relevant. Let's go back. Now, to be able to assign these sensitivity labels, of course, you need to have corresponding rights that allow you to do that. You, as a viewer, as a business user, you might not have these rights, and therefore, it is just information that shows and might restrict you in what you can do with that content. Now, that's the next part that we need to explore a little bit further. What does that really mean that we have confidential, highly confidential information? For example, here, that HR report. I open it up. Now here we are in that HR report and in the top left corner there, first of all, we see certified. That's the label that basically shows that this report is of a certain level of quality and has been reviewed and checked. All right. And right next to it, there we have our sensitivity label, confidential. All right. Now, this is maybe just a label. However, it can be that your organization also linked it with some restrictions, which is very likely. Now, let's see what is set up for this label. Now, we could test it by taking one of these visualizations. Now, over here, maybe we want to see the salary development over time. I go here to that visual, click on it, go to the three dots, and I want to export that data. Okay, now, click here on export data and summarize data, export, no problem. It lets me do that. So, it doesn't restrict me so far yet, just yet. Now, let me open that. Excel file. And now it gets interesting because you see already here at the top, confidential. So that label also gets applied automatically to that Excel file. And also all of the restrictions, they move further to that Excel file that was ju just generated. Now I'm going to enable the content. All right. So we see here at the top, confidential. In the bottom left corner also, there's confidential. All right. Now let's try that again. I'm going to add a new workbook. And from here, I want to connect to one of the data sets in Power BI service. So I go here to data and from here, I can go to get data. And here we have the Power Platform. And then here we have Power BI Data Training. 
Okay, now that will open up all of the data sets that are published in the Power BI service. And here we have the financial overview data set. Now, that's the one that I'm interested in. And let's use that for a pivot table. So I insert pivot table and automatically we have a yellow bar popping up over there. Policy tab, your organization automatically applied the sensitivity confidential data needs to be treated confidentially. That's just the description that the policy responsible admin uh, set up. Now, just have a look, click here on OK, and now we restrict it to whatever is allowed with that sensitivity label. So the sensitivity labels basically travel along from Power BI to Excel. Now, so far we were just looking at that confidential information. Now, let me go back and go back over here to that demo workspace. I'm going to go over here to that HR data set, click on the three dots, and then I go here to settings. And then here we can again say that the sensitivity label should be not confidential. I'm going to push it one level up to highly confidential. So now that's highly confidential, let's go back to our Excel workbook. Now at the moment, it's still confidential. And now I want to add a new sheet. Here we can again connect to a new Power BI data set, but this time I'm going to go here for that HR data set, insert a pivot table, and you see straight away it goes from confidential to highly confidential. So always do the most restricted one, the one that has the highest priority. And here it says your organization automatically applied the sensitivity label highly confidential. This concerns highly confidential information only to be shared inter internally. Okay. Now, and now if I go here to the print layout, so page layout, you will also see, ah, there's a watermark that was added. Also something that can be added to the sensitivity label as well, all right? So sensitivity labels are more than just labels. Where the power really comes from is the restrictions that can be put in place with these sensitivity labels. Now, how it is set up, what name they have and what restrictions are in place differs from one organization to the other. So it might be that within your organization, you might not have sensitivity labels at all. And if you do, well, maybe you have totally different labels from what I just showed you. And it might also be that totally different restrictions would get applied. So sensitivity labels are a great data governance feature that makes sure data and information is treated with care. And all of that is necessary for successful collaboration.